I was just scrolling through the Minecraft wiki when all of a sudden silverfish mining? What the heck is that? Apparently Evo's lab invented this. You probably know that guy. And it's exactly what you'd think it is. Instead of mining yourself, you just let silverfish do the work. Yeah, Minecraft gets even more slavery. And the way it works is by getting a lot of silverfish. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Throwing them all in a hole and poisoning them. But you've also gotta give them regeneration, so they don't die. And that way you can inflict severe pain on them, which will force them to break blocks. But doesn't that sound like torture? Well... Anyways, as you could see, nothing happened. They didn't mine anything. And the reason for that is that the silverfish, instead of breaking us, like TNT does, they just leave them behind. And currently they are surrounded by us. Why don't they break us? Well, first of all, they don't actually break blocks. They can't do that. You see, silverfish go into blocks, which turns the block into an infested block. And once another silverfish gets damaged, it doesn't work when they get one shot by the way, only when they get damaged, then every infested block nearby will break and spawn a silverfish. And as long as there's at least one silverfish that constantly gets damaged, that is gonna repeat over and over again. But they can only infest certain blocks, which prevents them from breaking ores. And that's obviously really convenient. As well as that they can also break deep slate, which might be useful since there's no way to insta mine deep slate, opposed to stone. But is it really worth it? I mean, you need a lot of silverfish, and the thing is that silverfish don't just spawn like other mobs. In fact, the best way to get a lot of them is to use a silverfish spawner from an end portal. Now, end portals are kinda rare, but once you found one, you basically have unlimited silverfish. So that's alright. Right? Well, yeah, but what if you wanna mine somewhere else, not at the end portal? Well, good luck transporting hundreds of silverfish. And I think that was the reason why no one used this method in the last, like, 10 years. That's why no one knows about it. However, that problem got fixed a few weeks ago, when the 1.21 update was released, which added a new item, a new potion. And if you splash mobs with it, every time they take damage, there's a chance that silverfish will spawn. So now let's take a mob that heals really quickly and drown it. That way it will constantly take damage but never die. Then just splash it with a potion of infestation and boom, portable silverfish spawner. It's honestly really easy to set up, just use a lead to bring an LA and put it in a box. So maybe this mining method will make a comeback.